everyone so you are watching jar mushroom so i had a free views video about this uh fruiting bags so substrate the yummy rice straw um 100 then ang size po ng aking fruiting bag this one is 8 by 14 as i showed you on my last video they were planted last april april 8th so this is the gray this is my gray these are what is this uh brown so they're like together these are yellow and i have here the pink and these are the whites as you can see nakahang na po sila kasi they're almost colonized na. Ayan na po. Hanggang dulo na po yung... So, later on, kapag meron na pong nag pinheads dyan, I will cut the sides. Ito po yung kinakat ko. All the sides, kinakat ko po yan. Pero for the meantime, since hindi pa po lahat is ready to fruit, um, what we only did was remove the cotton waste like this and return the paper para po hindi siya magkaroon ng contamination inside so that's our technique na ginagawa it works for us so i don't know sa iba kung it's okay or they practice that pero for us it's good kasi hindi po nahihirapan yung mag uh, yung pinheads i-push yung cotton waste so pepe lang po yung ipo-push niya so later on babalik ko po yan since i'm holding my phone ayan po so so far so good so i'll show you each one of them so someone messaged me or comment on my um video na kung meron pong contamination honestly zero contamination po sila as long as maganda yung spawn so i use my own spawn so um uh, i'm a supplier of spawn uh, jar mushroom so i use my own spawn actually what i use is usually mga um matured na sayang naman hindi wala namang green molds so i don't want to throw them so yun na yung itinatanim ko so as you can see maputi po sila yan no signs of any molds ang naging problema ko po dito sa aking protein bags is medyo mabagal because hindi po dahil sa spawn is because of medyo matubig yung substrate ko ito these are metabolites the yellow one water so yan po ay water content na excess water sa meaning medyo excess po yung pero good thing gumapang po siya until sa dulo mabagal nga lang po ng konti kasi nga nilalabanan niya yung water so over moisture po ang naging kasi first time take note this is the first time to make pure diami yan and uh, actually if someone can help me out with this problem what's the cause of this um meron po kumakagat yeah look at that hindi naman po siya nagdi green molds which is good kasi bago naman po namin hinang all of this um dinisinfect namin tong aming greenhouse so yan nilinis po ng sun rocks um sinabon then yan and then these are my milky and another thing na that I showed you earlier is may butas. Ito rin po. Lumalaki po siya. I mean, someone or something is eating it. I mean, meron po kumakagat. Hindi po namin mahuli. We put a trap. Ang nahuli po namin is butike. And another here, nag-trap po kami. Ang nahuli namin is itis. So, I don't know what's causing this uh, hole. But, Okay lang naman po, tolerable kasi dadalawang peraso. So, hindi naman po, na, uh, it's not causing any alarm. So, after that, as you can see, these are planted, these are white. Planted last April 14. Nagkaroon na po siya ng pinheads. Isa. But I think this is abnormal. Maybe because of the weather. And another here. Just to show you na, it's okay to have this kind of thing, pero isa, dalawa lang. Pero kung lahat ng protein bag nyo ay merong abnormalities like this, uh, it's not good. 
I don't know what's causing this. Maybe over water. Um, mainit lang ang panahon. Pero I remove that and then I'll update you on its next fruiting. So that's the first flash of that. The others, wala pa pong flashing kasi nga mainit pa yung panahon. Pero almost nasa pweta na po yung mga puti niya. Although basa po siya. Look at that. The water here. So still I'm thankful na gumaba pa rin po. Look at this. So I will remove the water of that later on. I'll cut a little bit para po mag-drain. Ito po may water din po. Yun nga po, over water po yung aking dayami. So these are the first batch, second batch. Ito po yung second row. Ginawa, tinanim lang po namin sila last. Uh, this one is the other. Um, I can show you it. But as you can see here, it's written 20 to 0. Black. So this April 20. So, pero hanggang dito na siya. Because what we did on the first batch, nakita na medyo basa siya. Hindi naman tumutulo, pero basa yung dayami na husto. In-air dry muna namin sila. Since na-notice ko na basa. So, so far, so good. Ayan. Medyo, um, konti na lang po yung natitira. Pero, April 20 po siya tinanin. This is black. Oh, konti na lang po. So, meaning these batches are better than this batch. So, hindi pa po sila pa puno. So, I always suggest to my customer that they cut on the side. Para po, lumabas po, doble po yung lumabas. Kung if you have, uh, the logic is if you have only 100 footing bags, pag kinat po yung both sides, it times nyo po, parang meron na rin kayong 300 footing bags. It's just on my opinion. Kung meron man pong hindi nagugustuhan doon sa sinabi ko, uh, it's okay. It's just, kung ano po yung ginagawa ko, it's just I'm sharing to everyone. Pa, baka po makatulong. So, I am not after on anything. So, ayan po siya. So far din po, on this uh, batches, wala naman pong green moods. So far so good, black. I have black here. Um, ano, ano po ba yung tinanong ko dito? white hindi po kasi masyado makita yung label meron pa po tong cotton waste ayan i'll show you ayan hindi po po namin naalis kasi hindi pa naman po siya malapit malapit mag fruit later on na pag puno na po ng halos tsaka lang po namin tinatanggal yung cotton waste okay so if you have any question send me a message so if you need spawn just um send me a private message on my Facebook page. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.